name is Manul Fat. Lesson number ten: The Invisible Homework. Salim shook his fountain pen twice, but it didn't work. My teacher is going to punish me. She will not be ready to excuse to excuse if I don't submit my homework assignment. He said, "Maybe the ink has dried out." There was no water in his reach. Salim filled his pen with some leftover lemonade in his glass. He took a sheet of paper and started doing his work. Nothing but faint lines showed on the paper. At least this attempt was better. This attempt was better. then appearing shamefaced in class some of the words were not clear salim held the paper close to the big light bulb of of his desk lamp as if by magic clear blue words began to show salim moved the paper away from the heat of the bulb Slowly the words began to disappear. This is super, he cried. Just what I want. Salim came came up with a simple plan. He was going to teach his friends how to ex- exchange sacred messages in the pre- presence of their teacher. He was going to make and sell invisible ink. he said to himself i am sure lots of children in the class will want some then we can send each other sacred messages in school the next day salim didn't have a chance to talk about his ink miss nadia called him to her desk There lay the last two pages of Salim had done. The pages were full of red lines and circles. Miss Nadia, it seemed, had not been able to read what Salim had written. She made it quite clear that if Salim didn't do his work more carefully. he would have to do it again he would have to do it again it was a cold day by the time school was over and salim got home he was completely tired he thought that he would make his ink tomorrow he was worried about his homework for the next day the heater in his room was making it warm and cozy he pulled the heater close to him before starting his work this feels good the to- he told himself he got his books and papers and fountain pen leaning towards the heater salim did his homework very carefully salim looked at his paper proudly the words were very dark if miss nadia cannot read this she needs magnifying glass salim placed all his paper and books on his desk and rushed downstairs to get a cup of heat, hot tea for himself after a little while he came back to his room salim collected his books packed his snackers for gym the next day and was ready to put his homework and notebooks in his bag he looked around puzzled he had put his paper he knew he had 
but he didn't see the homework. He looked under the desk. No homework was there. Maybe it was mixed up with all the stuff on his desk. He moved all the papers and books from his desk, desk on his table. The homework was not on the desk. Then he moved the books and papers of the heater. With a cry of relief, he saw his homework. This time, Salim put the homework securely into his notebook. And just to make sure, he would find it quickly the next day. He put a paper clip on the top of the page. That morning, when Miss Nadia said, Salim, let me see your homework. Please bring it here. Salim sighed in excitement, thinking of the su surprise he had for Miss Nadia. He thought that Miss Nadia will appreciate his homework in dark print. He opened his notebook. The clip was there, but where was his homework? Salim glanced deeply on the paper. To his horror, he saw faint pink lines. Salim stood up. He looked from his notebook to his teacher. Miss, he began, I am an awful mistake. Have you done your homework today, Salim? Miss Nadia asked. Salim went near Miss Nadia's desk and read the paper on it. I did my homework, Miss. He said, believe me, but I guess I used a wrong pen. I did it in invisible ink. The whole class kept quite suddenly. Salim, is it a joke? Said his teacher. At that moment, Salim saw a heater beside Miss Nadia's table. Then he understood what had happened to his homework the night before. Look, Miss, he said. He picked up the paper and, and held it over the heater. He whispered to his homework, Please come back just once more. Please come back just once more. Slowly the words started to appear. Miss Nadia looked at Salim paper. Her lips twitched and eyes opened wide. You are a genius, he said. Why didn't you tell me when I returned all your previous homework papers? Thanks. Thank you.